Okay, so today we're going to be creating a really cool graphic novel or halftone shader in Blender. I'll make this as quick and simple as possible, and if you follow these steps carefully, we'll be wrapped up within a few minutes. Perfect. All I've done here is add a UV sphere and a base mesh. Nothing too complicated. First, you're going to want to go to the shader tab at the top. Select everything you want the shader applied to. Create a new shader called graphic novel or whatever you'd like. Go to the red world tab at the right hand side and set the color to black. Press shift A and add shader to RGB. Press shift A again and add texture coordinate. You're also going to want to make sure that Wrangler is set on preferences. Next, we'll just add a viewer. Hold shift and control on the texture coordinate and left click so that the window connects to the viewer. Press shift A and select vector math. Change the add to multiply. And if you're noticing a pattern, you're not wrong. Shift A is our best friend. Press shift A again and this time X, Y, Z. Drag the vector to the bottom vector of multiply. Press shift A again, this time value, and put it under the texture coordinate. Connect value to Y on the combined XYZ node. Set the value to 100. Click shift A math, change to multiply. Set the value to 1920 slash 1080 or 1.778. This is the resolution size of the screen. Connect the value at the top to the X. Duplicate, multiply, and set it to fraction. Duplicate fraction and set it to distance and connect it to the viewer. Set the top two vector numbers to 0.5. Click Shift A math and select less than. Set its threshold to 0.37. Connect shader to RGB, color, to the threshold. Click Shift A again, map range, and connect shader to RGB, color, to its value. Drag result to the threshold. And finally, you're just going to want to click on the green camera icon on the right and drag a pass part 2 to 1. Now you can do whatever you'd like with it. You can change the threshold of the dots, you can move around the light, you can move around the ball. You now have got full control over the effect using the nodes tab. And there you have it. A simple graphic novel shader in Blender using some basic geometry nodes all wrapped up in a few minutes.